Hey, it's Ashley from Smart Edition Academy. And in this video today, I wanna to go over the metric table for nurses. So if you are studying for your nursing exam and struggling with some conversion problems, I have a few tips for you and a table that will really help you know what conversions do I need to memorize and then some strategies to use the ones where maybe we don't need to memorize and we can just have a tool in our toolbox to help us answer some of these questions. So before we jump into this quick video, make sure you check out the links in the description of this video for our full online courses and some free practice tests to get more questions like this and see what else you might expect on your nursing exam. So when we talk about our metric table for nurses, we are talking about metric conversions and a few different strategies to do that. So you may be wondering, what is this about? King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk. Well, let me show you a cool mnemonic that can help you work through some different conversion problems. So King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk. What this means is that each of these letters in our mnemonic represents a different prefix for our different metric units. So we have kilo, we have hecto, deca, W stands for our whole unit. So when I'm talking about whole units in the metric system, I'm talking about grams, meters and liters. Okay, then we also have deci, centi, and milli. So all of these are different types of conversions that you may be tested on and you wanna be able to go fluidly from one to the other. So how this works is you're gonna be given some conversion. Let's say, for example, let's stick with an easy one. What if I needed to know one kilogram, okay, so one kilogram, how many grams is that equal to? So how many grams is in a kilogram essentially? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with kilograms, right? And then I'm gonna see how many types of, how many times do I have to swoop until I get to that whole unit? So notice I'm going one, two, three times to the right. So what that means is that if I'm looking at one kilogram, I take my decimal and I swoop it one, two, three times to the right. And then I'm going to add in placeholders where I need it. Make sure I don't have any trailing zeros because that's very important that we have no trailing zeros. And this would tell me that one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. So if that is a conversion you already know, that should be validating. You should be like, oh yeah, I already knew that. That's easy. Well, it can get more complicated with different types of conversions. So let's look at a few examples. So again, we've got King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk. Let's start with 3,200 milliliters. Well, if I'm at milli and I need to go to my whole unit, I'm gonna go one, two, three times to the left. So my decimal is here, one, two, three times to the left. So my decimal should end up right here. And remember, we don't want any trailing zero, so my final answer would be 3.2. Okay, so let's try the next one. What if I have to do 0 0.67 liters to centiliters? Well, I'm starting at my whole unit, my liters, and going once, twice to the right. So swoop once, twice to the right, and I would get 67. Okay, so just swooping the decimal one way or the other, this mnemonic helps us decide which way that is. So if I have 4.89 decigrams, how many grams would that be? Well, I have decigrams, I'm going once to the left. So where my decimal is, go once to the left, and this would be, you notice it would give you 0.489, okay? We wanna have a zero in front of that decimal just so it's very clear, because sometimes a decimal can get lost really easily. So what about 5.3 grams? Well, if I'm going from grams to milligrams, I'm gonna start at my whole unit, once, twice, three times to the right, once, twice, three times to the right. So I have to add in two zeros here. So that would be 5,300. Okay, how about if we're talking about meters? Well, if I have 2.4 centimeters and I need to go to kilometers, so let's go from the C all the way to the M. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five times to the left. So five times to the left. Let me just write this over here. So we have a little more room. Or actually, sorry, let me move it over even more because we're going to the left. So 2.4, and then if I'm swooping this to the left, how many times did we say? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I need to make sure I add in one, two, three, four zeros. So add a zero in front of that decimal. One, two, three, 
four zeros and then two four. So not a conversion that you would really want to memorize because that's kind of a kind of a lot of different conversions we have to memorize. But now when we use our mnemonic, it's a little bit easier. So let's try this last one, go from 72 meters to millimeters. So if I'm going from meters to millimeters, I'm gonna start at my whole unit and go one, two, three times to the right. So 72 decimal would be here, one, two, three times to the right. That would be 72,000 millimeters. Okay, so that is just one strategy that you can use so that no matter what metric unit they give you and how you need to convert, you now have a strategy to do that and you don't have to memorize all of these different conversions. Okay, so here is a table of different conversions you will need to want to have memorized. A few of them are ones that you may see on our table. So this first one, 1000 micrograms equals one milligram. This is a conversion you want to have memorized for sure. 1000 milligrams equals one gram. Well, this is on our King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk mnemonic. You could memorize it or you could use that strategy, but when in doubt, you can always double check with our mnemonic. 1000 grams equals one kilogram. This can also be found on our mnemonic. And then 2.2 pounds is equal to, should say one kilogram. So this is definitely something you want to memorize because we are going from our imperial system, our English system, to the metric system, okay? So this would not be something that's on our metric table or using our mnemonic. So those are a few that you wanna have memorized. And those are all talking about mass. So when we talk about volume, a lot of these are, again, ones that we will need to memorize. So 30 milliliters equals one ounce. One milliliter equals one cubic centimeter or a cc. One teaspoon equals five milliliters. 1,000 milliliters equals one liter. That is one you could use the mnemonic for. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. One tablespoon equals 15 milliliters. And then two tablespoons equals one ounce. So notice with the volume, there are a lot of different units. So a lot of different ones we need to memorize. But I hope you find this table helpful and feel free to screenshot it so that you can use it as reference later on. So please let me know in the comments what you thought about this video and any other topics that we can make for you to help you study for your nursing exam. And again, check out the link in the description of this video for our full online courses and our free practice tests, along with a lot of other resources that you can use if you are studying for your nursing exam.